Good morning, guys. We're here at the Three Bed in Barnsley. Uh, this house is featured under Homes Under the Hummer. And if you know about the program, they show you the before and after of this type of property. Uh, but what I'm going to do today is I'm going to try to show you the middle part because the art of the deal is not just how much you buy it for, but how much you can serve while you do the refurb. Okay, so the three main jobs for this project is sorting out the kitchen, uh, the heating system and what you can see behind me the garden uh, We've already trimmed it down a bit as you can see this is like the Amazon jungle itself You know, I'm scratching my head on what we're gonna do with this garden. First of all, it's great that he's got a large plot But the headache with this particular property first of all, it's a rental property So you're trying to make the garden as low maintenance as possible So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to clear all of this up see what's underneath and then maybe we can come up with an idea of what we're going to do uh, initially we're thinking maybe we could do some decking down here but at the same time my budget is limited remember you have to know your market you can't overspend uh, you can't get too emotionally caught up in a refurb because you have to make the numbers work so I've got a challenge on my hand here with the team to make this garden come in at, a, at the budget that we're working with the lowest quotation that I got for clearing out the garden as well as putting gravel on it was 2500 so the job here that we're trying to do is to come in at a price lower than that but doing it ourselves so the first thing that i've done is break up the jobs into different pieces the first part is to clear out the front part and that's why we've got this mini digger to come in and we're going to try to scrape up all the stuff at the front and then we can then get down to the bottom where we can actually uh, lay some membrane and then gravel the top but the challenge that we have here is that because we have a bit of a height a bit of a drop uh, so I can't necessarily get this digger to go straight into the plot uh, but when I spoke to the guy who is hiring this digger out to us he did tell me about getting us a ramp but I don't see any ramp that has been delivered so I'm gonna get on the phone oh hello there mate uh, this is Michael here for the digger at uh, Oldroyd Yes, I spoke to you when I made the booking about the issue we might have regarding uh, getting it onto the plot. We mentioned our uh, potential getting a ramp. Hi, mate. Okay, here for the gas, right? Yes. Okay, I'm Michael. Hey, the driver? Yeah. We've got a bit of a challenge here in terms of getting it up uh, onto the site. So I requested from your uh, colleague to bring in um, a ramp. Yeah. No, I don't have a tape measure, but uh, we, could, we could borrow one. You know, like, it's free for so the objective is to clear up as much as possible. The lads um, who also work here are going to try to trim some of this down, but the main job is to rake and scrape uh, the top turf. All right, guys, so we got Paul here. He is going to be helping us out with one of the big jobs on the site. Remember, we are trying to install a new heating system within this unit, uh, and he's going to, you know, show us what, what, what exactly do you do for how are you going to approach the job? We're going to fit a new central, central heating system. We've got an aerated boiler. We're going to put a radiator in each room, thermostatically controlled, and a new um, thermostat to control your heater. What's the biggest challenge on the job today? Uh, boiler, probably. Okay. Boiler, if we're done today, I'll, I'll complete today. So. What's your thing? Because on this house, it seems like they had a water tank. Um, yeah, all, all your tanks get removed because it's a combination of boilers get yeah. fitted. We take all your water tanks out. Fit the boiler, and the boiler just works without water in your central heating. There's no stored water anymore. Okay, good stuff. So, guys, we're going to see Paul do his thing, uh, and then you can get a bit of an insight into setting up this uh, new heating system for this house. What we decided to do here, instead of just ripping out the whole kitchen, we started, decided to maybe recycle some bits that we had, as well as uh, get some additional items to just refresh it. Uh, because the temptation most times when you're doing refurb jobs is to get in and pull everything out. But that's not sustainable and sometimes you can find ways to make some savings by literally rethinking how you do your kitchen. So to start off with, what we did was simply purchase some top cabinets and these including the extractor fan in total was about 450 pounds as well as the worktop and we retained all of the bottom cabinets from the old kitchen. Uh, if you remember the old kitchen, it looked a bit old and dated, but what we simply did is get the old cabinets and the new cabinets and we painted them the same color. And now when you look at it, 
you can't necessarily tell the difference which is the new cabinet or which one is the old. The thing here is you have to know your market. Uh, this is a rental property, uh, so therefore we know the kind of market we are going for. So you have to find the savings uh, and efficiencies through the way that you refurb the property. This is the team that's mainly heading up this job. We've got Lewis and you've got Hajit, and they are literally doing everything here. Hajit, I call him the transformer. You know, he, can, he does everything. He can just transform into electrician, plumber, decorator, whatever you need. You need one of him on your site. Uh, and Lewis is just there, just making sure that we have that nice, smooth finish. Are, are you looking forward to it? I want to change it. I want to change it. It's a mess. We've been walking up for it for the last two weeks. Yeah. I want to get rid of it, actually. To be honest, but it's quite big. If you're looking at it, it is bigger than we think. But um, we want to get it down. Yeah, I'm going to go for Lois Bryant here. Oh, you want to go through here? Yeah. Okay. Well, it doesn't matter. It's all the same, isn't it? So is he bringing the, the ramp then? Yeah. Okay, good stuff. Okay, I guess once we get the ramps, oh, yeah. we should be quite straightforward. Yeah. Okay, here's the skip. I've got to have a permit for this. Sure. You know, I had the assumption that they were taking care of it. Sorry? I, say, I guess it's been an eyesore. It has a little bit. It's nice to see something being done to it. Ah, that's good then. Uh. You've ordered uh, enclosed? Yes. But they're not best for loading with a mini digger. You know what? My boys who needed the skip first, they're the ones who ordered it because they wanted right. to close it so that people don't put all the stuff in it. Right. So I guess we've got a bit of a challenge. It'll, it'll get it in, but you can only load it from one end and obviously it's oh. not going to be able to push it down now. Okay. Uh, we might need two collections, uh, yeah. considering that we have all of this to go in. Um, yeah. um, Okay, so the problem that we have here is that we have a skip that closes. But the problem with that skip is that it's not really user friendly if you're trying to get in all of this rubble in utilizing the digger. So now they've had to go back and get a skip that's open so that he can easily put in all of this rubble into the skip. Okay then, uh, so there we have it. So we got all the elements to make the garden work now. So we've got the digger and we've got the skip. And we've got all the lads working on the site now just to making sure that it's all cleared up. So remember the, high, the lowest coat that we had got to do the garden, clearing it up, digging it up, laying a membrane and graveling it was a 2500 my job is to beat the lowest cut we get from an outside contractor so really the numbers for this is 230 for the skip uh the digger and men is 220 pounds and then you have the membrane and the gravel that's coming in at about 250 300 pounds so all together we are coming in considerably lower than what a contractor would have charged us to do this job so really that's Part of what you're doing as a property entrepreneur, you're breaking down those costs uh, for things like gardens and kitchens to make sure that you get the most you can out of the money you're spending on the site. All right then, so there you have it. That's a bit of insight for you. So we've looked at the three main jobs on this particular project, the heating system, the garden, as well as the kitchen. So from the numbers that I've shown you, uh, we, we came in at 450 uh, with the kitchen 
uh, and with this particular plot, we have more or less come in at about 800 to 900 pounds once we are done. In comparison to the 2,500 quoted to do the garden and the 1,100 for the kitchen we, we could have bought if we were going for a new one, we probably have saved about 2,200 pounds. So literally it's those kind of fine margins when you're dealing with lower value properties that you need to consider because it's the 2,200 that you can either save or that we need enable you to just bid just a bit more than the other person if you are bidding for the property at auction or in the open market. So keep that in mind. Learn how to keep your costs down when you're doing that refurb. See you next time.